Hi, my name is Catherine Deptoch. I am the writer-director of the short You Can Call Me Ollie at the Palm Springs Short Festival. Um, I'm originally from New Jersey, but currently I'm a student at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. So my film You Can Call Me Ollie is a high school coming of age short about a socially awkward puppeteer who has to find his voice, his own voice aside from his puppet Mo, and um, in order to ask his crush Lizzie to prom. So he kind of has to find himself, um, the main character Ollie has to go through different adventures and like internal struggles in order to work up the courage to leave the puppet aside, go on stage and put a pretty embarrassing performance on, but at the end he realizes that being himself is the most important thing. So a challenge that we had to overcome was actually in our second weekend, because um, the film was uh, a short for my college, for USC, so we had certain uh, weekends we had to shoot um, during, and also just in general for scheduling purposes. and. Of course, it ended up being that our inside uh, location shooting was like sunny and beautiful outside, but then when we needed to shoot outside and we wanted these like beautiful rich green colors of the grass where they're sitting outside and having lunch and it's raining and it rained the day before. Um, so that was a big challenge to overcome. We still ended up like bringing towels and like making it all work and like you can still see in the film like Lizzie's pants have like dirt all over them. but. We worked it into the story, it kind of had that British grayness in the sky. Um, but then also it was because of the rain and the night before it had also rained in thunderstorms. So the high school we were filming at, um, their football game that was supposed to be the day before ended up being moved to right next to us right when we were shooting. Um, some of the football players were nice, but when we were going through the dailies, you just hear like clicking of cleats as they're trying to not say anything, but like marching in the background, which I mean, I guess that can be some kind of metaphorical thing of some sort, but we ended up Xing it, but we worked with it, so yeah. So this is actually my first time at the Palm Springs Short Fest. Um, I was actually recommended to submit uh, You Can Call Me Ollie by a uh, festival person coordinator at USC. She said that it'd be a great opportunity to meet a lot of filmmakers, which totally is what's happening. It's um, my first day here through it all, so I just got back from looking at the video library and looking at different films from all different countries. We found our film, um, but also uh, my parents are originally from Poland, so I was interested in seeing all like the Polish shorts, as well as I really love French cinema, so like looking at the French shorts and things that you wouldn't really see on your everyday. Um, also, the panel that was on about how to ruin a film in 10, 10 ways was pretty enlightening, but also like you relate on a certain level, like even with people who have made four features, like Craig Johnson, who is one of the panelists, or people who have their short for the first time. It's like everyone still goes through the same struggles, and um, it's kind of like that moment. It's almost like therapy, so it was really nice, and I feel that everyone's really open in the festival, and um, for our first time, like it definitely won't be our last. So my inspiration for becoming a filmmaker started off when I was younger. I always wanted to be an author, a writer, and write my own stories. Like I enjoyed reading, but like typically speaking, when I'd be going to bed and stuff, I would just like to write different stories. Um, and then simultaneously with that, um, I was always growing up on movies, and because both my parents are from Poland, um, they showed me not only classic Hollywood cinema, but also Polish films, French films, Italian films, anything that was available to them then. So then those kind of two combinations um, came together, and I was like, why not like make the film, make make my stories come to life on screen? So then I ended up you know, having a JVC camcorder, making little films with my friends, um, similar to how this film you can call me Ollie's with a puppet. I started off with using puppets because I'm an only child and when my friends couldn't come over, I'd just like be puppeteering while like pressing record and all that stuff. But that was kind of where everything started and like anything was possible. And then from that, I did a program at New York Film Academy, which was close by because I'm from New Jersey. So like went with my dad every day on the train for like an hour and a half back and forth for two weeks. But like I had my first pitch there. I'd never pitched anything before. Um, and then from that just kind of never stopped. I think some kind of advice I want to tell myself earlier that I ended up hearing later in the filmmaking process that now carries me through is um, I heard a professor say that don't worry on films on like a film set because anything that can go wrong will go wrong and it's like at first I'm quite a perfectionist and I like having everything go as planned and like I 
prepare and over prepare but um and it's kind of daunting to hear that anything can can go wrong um you know with like weather or like an actor not showing up or anyone not showing up um but at the end of the day like that's kind of the beauty of filmmaking that you can have this whole plan and maybe those planned things aren't as good as what happens when the mistakes come from it and you can kind of um make something out of it and honestly my favorite parts of films that I've done are ones where I look back and laugh because I thought the world was gonna end but I think it's like being over prepared is good because when you're prepared for those challenges but just understanding like from a director's perspective your story your vision will kind of prepare you for it versus like if you go into it blind it's tougher if you have any kind of issue on set but if you know your story your core story you can kind of build around it and let the characters speak for themselves even in any situation.